All right, today we have a new MPPT solar charge controller from Bateria Power. This is the Sunrock 60 amp. All right, let's open it up. So we have our user's manual and here's the charge controller. Yeah, it's quite compact for a 60 amp. Usually 60 amps are a little bit larger than this. It's all sheet metal construction. Has a fan up here at the top. That's actually nice to see because it's going to draw the air from the bottom out through the top, which happens to work with natural convection. So that's a nice welcoming thing to see. All right, so it says we've got max open circuit voltage of 150 volts. It can do lithium iron phosphate or AGM slash gel batteries. The battery voltage can be 12, 24, 36, or 48. And our max PV input power for 12 volt is 780 watts. For 24 volts is 1580 watts. For 36 volts is 2340 watts. And for 48 volts is 3,120 watts. And here on the bottom, it looks like we have a temp sensor, a grounding screw. We have our PV input, our battery connection, and a load connection. We also have an RS-45 port here. So this is going to be for a Bluetooth module, which I have here. However, this does not come with the unit. This is a separate purchase. Let's open that up. And there we go. This is the BT-02 Bluetooth adapter. And it comes with its own little product manual. And it shows you where to download the app. We'll get to that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and take these screws out so we can remove this panel. All right, so yeah, that just gives you access to the terminals to tighten the terminals down for the PV battery and the load connection. So let's get this thing hooked up. All right, so I've got some wires attached and we're gonna hook it up to this Orient Power 12 volt battery. So let's do that now. All right, so we're all wired up to the battery and it is on. It shows our battery system as 12 volts. I think it's set for gel, but let's just go ahead and plug some solar in and see what it does. Alrighty. Showing the PV voltage at 76 volts. We've got the fan on. And uh, it's showing charging. Let's look at the battery app and see what it's saying. So according to the battery app, we are pushing in 47.29 amps. And that's using these two bifacial panels here. I should hook up this other pair and see if we can just really push this thing. All right, I got more panels hooked up now. Let's see what we're doing. So it's showing 59.3 amps. Oh, there's 60 amps right there. 800, around 800 watts it's saying. Yeah, so the app on the battery is saying 60 amps. So we are actually doing 60 amps. I'm just going to let that run at 60 amps and see if it can just take it for a little while. All right, so I tucked the doggy for a quick walk. And before I left, the battery was at 55% stated charge, and now it's at 61% 
and we are still pushing that 60 amps and this thing is still cranking the fan is keeping it cool apparently and everything is good so what I want to do is I want to hook up the Bluetooth adapter All right, so I scanned the little app QR code there, and it came up to SolarMate. So we're installing SolarMate right now. Okay, so I think it found our Bluetooth adapter here. Oh, there we are. Got right in. So we're showing our PV voltage, our PV power, so 830 watts our charging our battery voltage 13.7 our current is 60 amps showing our load voltage and whatnot all right so let's check out the params here all right so this is like our load control general okay here's our charge and protection parameter set Okay, so this is where we can change our battery type. We can do lithium ion, sealed lead acid, flooded lead acid, other lead acid. Okay, so it's on auto. I don't like that usually, so let's do that as a 12 volt system. Save that. That shows our historical data here. That's nice. Oh, it shows our PV information, our battery information, our load information. So this is the load control. Can we turn it off? Okay. So the load is off. And... Let's see, are we still getting signal? Yeah, so we're about, uh, I don't know, 10 feet away or so. Probably about 20 feet away here. And uh, we are still getting signal. So pretty good range on it. Alright, so according to the battery app, we are currently at 65% state of charge and still pushing 60 amps here. Alright, so it's the next morning and I disconnected the solar input yesterday because I didn't want the battery to fully charge. I wanted to be able to check it this morning and hook it back up and see how the early morning charging looked. And I've been watching it since about 8 and it's 9.30 right now. And it's charging fine. We're showing 106 watts coming in from PV. 102 of that actually going to the battery. And I haven't seen anything quirky. Like some charge controllers in the morning, they have a hard time tracking in that low light condition. And you see like the wattage fluctuating. This one's been solid. So while that's been charging this morning, I've been looking through the manual and trying to figure out how to change settings on this screen right here and that's what this portions about and you can change some settings <laughs> it's not so easy because uh, you only have these two buttons right here to work with and I noticed that you really do kind of got to firmly hold these buttons and it's uh, it's definitely not as easy as doing it through the Bluetooth adapter. The other thing is, is that not all the settings are available here. You can set your system voltage like 12, 24, 36, 48. But as far as fine-tuning those voltages, you really need to have this guy. And it's just so much easier doing it through the app. So if you were considering this charge controller... 
I would probably pick this up too. All right, so for now, I'm just gonna leave this thing alone and let it fully charge this battery. And I'll be back whenever it's complete. All right, so the charging has stopped and we did in fact charge to 100%. All right, so now I've got it hooked up to a 48 volt battery because I wanted to test the 48 volt capabilities and it seems to be working just fine. We're pushing 18.5 amps into my battery. It's showing a little over a thousand watts. And it's doing good. And so while this was charging, I went ahead and took some measurements of the power coming in and the power going out to the battery. And so coming in, I measured 991.22 watts. And then going out to the battery, I measured 939.88 watts. And that gives us 94.8% efficiency. All right, so I'm just gonna let this thing charge my 48 volt battery here all the way up. All right, so it finished charging my 48 volt battery. So no problem there. I think what I want to do now is let's open it up and take a peek at the inside. So we got our heat sinks right here directly in the middle and the fan is actually right over the top of that. As you can see, so that's a nice position of the fan. I like that. We got our inductors. We got 63 volt capacitors on the output side looks like. And then we got uh, 160 volt capacitors on the input side. This is the control board here, I believe. I think this is a power board to supply the proper voltage to the microprocessor. And that's about it. It's pretty basic. It looks pretty clean. Um, you know, it looks well put together. We've got some information printed here. Uh, it says 105.024.050. Looks like we've got a date 2022-1020. And this is version 1.2. <laughs> All right, so I think that's going to be it for the video. I'll leave links in the description. Let me know what you guys think about this charge controller. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.